All right, guys, yesterday I decoded the Red Sox to beat Tampa Bay Rays, and they did. Crazy scoreline, finished 14-6. I also had the Braves to cover at plus 1.5 against the Brewers, and they did. The game finished 2-1. But I'm going to focus on this code here to show you how rigged it all is. So Boston's starting pitcher was Chris Sale. His birthday's on 3.30, like 33, and he was born in Tampa. Tampa Bay gets you 137. And 137 is, of course, connected with 33. Because 137 is the 33rd prime. And he came into this 1 and 2 in the playoffs. So with a win, would be 2 and 2, like 22. And the anniversary of him making his MLB debut was two months and two days before the game. The Red Sox coach, he stayed on 202 career losses, like 22. Tampa Bay gets you 79. 79 is the 22nd prime. There were 79 days between the pitcher's birthdays, guys. And 22 is a big number with Boston because Boston gets you 22. And the Rays pitcher was 22 years old. It's just crazy how they do all of this. Two months and two days is exactly nine weeks. Boston got their ninth win in 2021 versus Tampa. Sale was drafted first round, 13th pick. Reminds me of Kobe, like 1-1-3. And the reason he was drafted first round 13th pick, like 113, is because his full name gets you 113. See how it gets you 220 as well, like 22, and all these 22s here. The race starting pitcher was Shane Baz, and he was born on June the 17th, which is Boston's area code. And 617 is the 113th prime. Very significant. The game was 113 days after his recent birthday and Tampa picked up their 113th all-time loss at home versus Boston. 1-1-3 is the 30th prime. Just see how it all connects. And the Rays got their 30th home loss of the season and they also got their 30th postseason loss. Rays got their 322nd all-time loss on a Friday, that 3-2-2. Boston governor assumed office, 3-2-2, 2021. And skull and bones are heavily connected to 3-2-2. Anybody who is a governor is connected to these secret societies. And like I said, the Red Sox coach, he stayed on 202 career losses. And 202 is a number connected to skull and bones. 202. I told you baseball is an incredibly Masonic sport. Skull and Bones gets you 41, as you can see here. The starting pitcher for Tampa was Shane Baz, gets you 41, also gets you 76, like Skull and Bones. And the Red Sox pitcher, he wears the number 41 jersey and was drafted 13th pick. Of course he was. 41's the 13th prime. It's nothing to do with the player's abilities. It's all ritual. The game was one week and three days before Red Sox coach's upcoming birthday, and he picked up his 13th playoff win. Of course he did. Whilst at the same time, giving the Tampa coach his 13th playoff loss. The Rays dropped to 1-3, and three, like 13, when playing on 10-8. Tampa dropped to 8-4 and four at home versus the Red Sox. And Tampa gets you 84. That big Jesuit number. This game was played on a day leaving 84 days left in the year. The Rays got their 63rd loss of the season. Rays gets you 63. Game was on a Friday. Friday gets you 63. And the game was played on October the 8th. And October the 8th gets you the 63. Of course it does. The Red Sox tied the series to make it 1-1 whilst getting their 11th win on 10-8. The race pitcher wears the number 11 jersey. 121 days between the Boston and Florida Governor's birthdays. 1-2-1 one, one 
Square root is 11, plus 11 times 11 is 121. This stuff's not by accident. Red Sox stayed on 1,310 all-time losses on a Friday, like 131. 131 is the 30-second prime. Boston gets you 32. And Red Sox gets you 32. And if we go back here, the full name of this starting pitcher for Boston gets you 320, like 32. 32 rays on the Society of Jesus logo. Chris Sale, starting pitcher, this guy, 32 years old. Red Sox stayed on 108 losses in October. And the date of this game was 10-8, like 108. Florida's governor was born on a day, leaving 108 days left in the year. The Rays dropped to 163 in both teams' 163rd games of the season. Tom Brady is heavily connected with both Tampa and Boston. Of course, he plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He won six Super Bowls with the New England Patriots for, from Boston. So it comes to no surprise that Brady's full name is 163. And Tampa dropped to 163 for the season in both teams' 163rd game of the season. 163 is the 38th prime. It's why Brady won the Super Bowl this year on the 38th day of the year on February the 7th. But Kevin Cash is the head coach of Tampa. His name gets you 38 in the Purist Cypher. So them having a record of 100 wins and 63 losses, like 163, the 38th prime, makes a ton of sense. This was Tampa's 38th game in October. The game was nine weeks and three days after Brady's 44th birthday, guys. The Red Sox got their 93rd win of the season and picked up their 44th away win of the season. Red Sox coach born on 10-18, like 118. One month and 18 days between the coach's birthdays. How convenient, hey? Tom Brady, 118. And how convenient that the Rays are playing Boston when last Sunday you had the Patriots against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I told you they connect up all sports. Brady won Super Bowl 53. The score was 133. Again, remember Pope Francis became the Pope on 13-3. But this was the race coach's 1,033rd all-time game, guys, like 133. And Boston Red Sox gets you 53, as you can see here. And the race stayed on 53 home wins for the season. Got 52 regular season wins and one playoff win, 53. And just confirmation here of the score. It's hilarious that the first inning was 2-5. The Rays took a big lead. Boston were actually plus 500 to win this game. 2-5. Number 25 made the score 2-5. And this score can be seen as 5-2. And I've said many times, Pope gets you 52 and 25. Just a joke. Just a joke. I was happy, obviously. Still get angry though at how ritualistic it all is. It really is. But yeah, look. Series tied at 1 1. Pope gets you 11. Before I finish this video, I just want to make a point to Zachary Hubbard. So, Zach, I was told you called me out in this video that I stole your work about 1968 when I didn't. So I got my information from this page. I have a Patreon, mate. People tell me to look into things. They asked me to look into 1968. I did. I gathered this information. Turns out that this is incorrect. Came out in 1967. And you told me that here, which I respect, mate. It's not a shekel. 
And then you went on to describe what it actually is. And then you said, see my work on it from a year or two ago. I still haven't seen it. Everything else is 68. I was like, okay, nice one, mate. And then you went on to say, it is part of the Six Days War, a big 119 event, and 67 is the 19th crime. Yes, I'm fully aware that 67 is the 19th crime, mate. So I responded to you and I said, thanks so much, mate. I will check it out, which I haven't, by the way. And I decoded another 119 today. The time between the birthday of Donald Trump and the 41st birthday of his father is 119 days. And his father died on 119 day emoji. Skull and bones equals 41. I've been discussing 119 pretty much daily on my Patreon, mate. Maybe you should sign up and check it out. Check out my work. Okay? The 119 when England brought on Jaden Sancho in Rashford after 119 minutes for them both to miss a penalty in a race ritual in the Euro 2020 final. Myself and my community have decoded so many 119s. It's insane, mate. And then Wildlife said, you two need to collab. I'm not sure you'd want that though, would you, Zach? You've hammered so many channels in the truth community. Hammered them. And now you're calling me out? That I steal your work? I don't steal your work, mate. Am I inspired by your work? Yes. Okay, but I'm at a level now, mate, where I can decode myself at a really high level. Again, look at my decode there for the Red Sox. I'm not just throwing in date numerology and, and arguments for both teams. I'm going to avoid this one. I'm going to sit this one out. No, I go in 90% of the time and I'll give a straight up pick. This one was the Red Sox. They hammered Tampa. But I don't know why you're bringing people down, constantly calling people retards. Yeah, I get your frustration, mate. I question how people can't see what's going on. But they're clearly under deep mind control, under spells. Okay? Or cognitive dissonance here. Like Zeno said. I try every day to open people's eyes. I put out incredible content. Do I go on your website occasionally? Yes. Do I read people's decodes and get inspired by them and add to them? Yes. And you want to call me out. Respect months ago, you basically said I did great work on one of your live streams when I called in with an amazing decode that hit. You asked me, what's your name? Good stuff. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I have. My work is very good, mate. So yes, you are Mr. Gematria. You have a huge following that you've earned. You put out incredible content daily. Okay, I don't know how many channels that they've taken down. Is it 21, Zach? Or 22, I'm not sure. And isn't this your ninth year of putting out content? Nine, the number of completion. You're about to bring out your third book. Interesting. Going into 2022. 222, two, two, like order out of chaos. Could just be a coincidence, eh? Could be a coincidence that I have 74 likes for this video. Like Lucifer equals 74. And all the 74s that you've taught people. How Independence Day is celebrated on 7-4. How three of the first five founding fathers died on 7-4. How seven is the fourth prime. We've learned all of this from you, mate. And I'm guessing you just learned it all by yourself. You just discovered it. 9-11 happened. You started to realize how numbers are connected with letters. And it was all organic. Hopefully that's the case, mate. Respect. We all have our own journey. Mine's been organic. I discovered Gematria at 33 and it wasn't through you. I was actually writing a book called The Illusion. Before I even knew what Gematria was, I discovered Gematria when I was writing a chapter about numerology and symbolism. I came across Gematria and then I eventually came across your page. 
But if you type Gematria into YouTube, you find Zachary Hubbard. So yes, you've inspired me. Yes, you're incredible at what you do. You call people out too often. I'd love to be on a show with you, mate, and have a conversation with you. That's if you don't hang up or cut me off when I try and speak or call me a retard when I'm blatantly not, even though you've never said that. I would love to call into your show one-on-one -on -one and let's have a chat. If you think I'm annoying and I'm stealing your content, I've learned from you, mate. I know how this works now, but to be honest with you, there's a lot of ciphers, isn't there? In Gematria, a lot. And yourself and I, we focus on these base ciphers. But I think there's a lot of other ciphers that are definitely important that we don't discuss. And I'm going to start looking into them myself, mate. Jewish has to be huge. This is Jewish mysticism, Gematria. Jewish has to be huge. Satanic rituals going on daily. Satanic has to be huge. We always talk about this full reduction, the purest cipher. Is it? Is it the purest cipher? Chaldean, supposed to be incredibly important. So I'm going to start looking into all of these ciphers. The only issue why I don't do it is because people will say, oh, well, it's so easy to find patterns when you have, I don't know, 30 ciphers, however many ciphers they are. And I get that point completely. I get that point. But mate, I do really, really good work. I work my ass off for this community. I make enough money to be comfortable. I don't know how many patrons you have, but it's way more than me, mate. So I don't think you're struggling for money at all. I don't know how expensive it is living in Seattle, Washington where Bill Gates lives. I don't know how expensive it is there, mate. But I gave up my teaching job at a prestigious international school for this journey to help people, to share knowledge, to wake people up. And I've helped people, mate. So for you to call me out here, okay, pissed me off. It pissed me off. There it is, Jumatsu Effect News 22. 22, eh? I'm sure it will stay on that going into 2022. But again, it's impossible not to respect your work. It's impossible not to respect it. But don't start calling out people like me, mate, who are doing great things for this community, who can decode really well who's not just obsessed with money. Okay, my page, anyone who follows me knows it's not just about sports, but I put out codes every single day for different sports, boxing, baseball, soccer, which you know nothing about, NFL, basketball, okay? And my decodes are at this level every single time. I don't just do like five sentences with a couple of numbers and date numerology. I go into detail. You could probably learn a few things from me. Do you ever discuss the governor's birthdays or where they became the governor of their states or the birthdays of these states? I'm sure you do. But again, the whole goal is to share knowledge, mate. And you want to call me out. Oh, this illusion guy is so annoying. It's so annoying, man. He's just ripping my work off. No, I'm not. At all, mate. I support your work. I respect your work. I don't steal it. All right? So like I said, if you want to have a conversation with me, test my knowledge, let's do it. But stop calling people out all the time, mate, and making out like everyone's a retard but yourself. Because that is not going to help this community, lad. 